My name is Cynthia Nayeli Reynoso Trujillo. I'm a licensed clinical social worker at the UC Davis Mine Institute, and I am originally from Leon, Guanajuato, Mexico. Grew up in my dad's hometown, which was Salamanca, Guanajuato. So when we were in Mexico um, and my dad was in the United States, um, my mom my mom has always been very hardworking, responsible, independent, got creative, and she put together her, like a poultry stand. She had a puesto on the side of the house. And she would sell um, raw chicken, cut to order. And she had a friend that would also sell aguas frescas. Well, I also wanted to sell something. I wanted my own stand. So my mom was able to put a candy stand together. So while my mom was selling her chicken and aguas frescas and vegetables on the side of the house, my candy stand was in front of the house. I wasn't the best salesperson because I pretty much was the consumer. I was eating my own candy and my own chicharrones and cueritos, so I was really gullible, um, believing that people were gonna come back and pay for what they bought. My dad had immigrated to the United States um, in order to provide a better life for us. He had came over during a time when there was an amnesty, and so he was able to get legal permanent uh, residency. I would see him maybe like once or twice um, a year. Usually during the holidays, he would come and visit. He came to the United States when I was five years old. I think my mom was just tired of just being separated from my dad and not being a unified family. My general grandparents drove us to the airport and we took a flight from Guanajuato over to Tijuana. So we did stay the night. And while we were in the hill, there was like vendors that were selling snacks. And so like papitas, like chips and like candy. And my mom bought me a maruchan instant noodle soup. So I guess you could say that was my first American food, you know, with the limon and the, the salsa, the hot sauce. I guess as a child, I didn't really realize how dangerous our journey was. I think I was just more excited about being together with my dad. We just walked through the barbed wire, the fence fryer. And I just remember like cerros, well, just hills and it was a desert. But we were pretty much like walking and running up and down the hills with different cerros. I, I believe I twisted an ankle because my foot got stuck in one of the roots that was um, coming out of this shrub and, and I twisted it. I don't know how, how, um, how far we walked, but I just remember that, that we made it. And so we're walking down this American neighborhood and we could see a patrol car coming our way from far away. And so this man just pretty much tell us to act normal and that we were not catching attention and, and we won't get in trouble. But I mean, it's a group of people. Um, I ended up running and I hid underneath a car that was parked in somebody's driveway. From hiding underneath the car, I could see that the patrol car had stopped my mom and this man who was carrying my little sister. And next thing I know, they were already in the patrol car. And the police, the officer hadn't even seen me, but my mom called my name. And so I ended up running and I got in the patrol car too. And we were taken to the detention center. So we were... um, it was cold. Um, there wasn't a bed, there wasn't furniture. It was just kind of like sitting in this really hard like cement. And in the cell, there was a toilet bowl but it wasn't private. My mom was kind of standing in front to kind of cover while I used to restroom. My feet were so swollen, um, you know, from all the running and then my ankle was twisted or I had hurt my ankle that she says that she couldn't take my shoes off. But so we were deported. We might have probably just rested for like a day and we went back and tried again. The second time we were actually crossing the freeways. Cars were going really fast, they would be honking at us, and it was just scary that we were gonna get run over. And I do remember that I could see um, a lot of shining lights from far away. And I would point and I would ask my mom, like, is this, or, you know, like, what are, what are those lights over there? And she said it was Disneyland. I don't know if it was true or not, but it was just really exciting for me to be so close to Disneyland and now being in the United States. And growing up, and learning English in school, um, I soon became the interpreter for my parents. Growing up and then just watching, you know, the different types of help that we got, and at the same time watching how hard my parents worked to be able to provide a better life for us, it just inspired me. And I just wanted to give back. I, 
ever since I was in high school, I knew that I, I wanted to do something where I could help my community back. Um, so I knew that I, I wanted to be a social worker for sure. I knew that um, by the end of high school, I knew that that's what I wanted to do. I have been very lucky, very fortunate to be able to work um, as a social worker in different settings. So right now at the UC Davis Mind Institute, I'm heavily involved in our Spanish clinic, Developmental Behavioral Pediatrics Clinic in Spanish. It's called Crece. And our team is all composed of bilingual providers. I would encourage people that don't have an immigration experience, I, I would encourage them to be curious, to be curious to learn about other people's experiences. Thank you.